My name is Sebastian and I am the Novice Prospect. Welcome to my very first review and my chosen victim for today is going to be Coal Mining Simulator. Now I want to first uh, give a huge thanks to Icebreaker PR for providing me with a copy of the game to review. And then except for the Steam key for this game, I have not received any other remuneration or other rewards, okay? Um, about Coal Mining sim Simulator as per its Steam page, okay? Welcome to the world of coal mining. Start with almost nothing and get to the top. Develop your mine, buy new machines, sell coal, and avoid dangers in the sandbox simulator. You know, I, I can't help but notice the little pun there. Anyways, <coughs> Coal Mining Simulator is developed and published by Game Planet, who have brought us also games like, I don't know, Cybertown, Split, and its initial release was in uh, April of 23. Uh, this year 2023 and it has since received a few updates sort of to address a few bugs and you know introduce gameplay improvements that were probably sorely needed okay um the last of this uh, of these updates was at the end of june um of this year as well and it's in the total install weighs in at about 10 gigs so like 9.8 all in right um so i suppose we'll get started okay and Remember, if you like this sort of content, you know, please feed the algorithm gods and push those like and subscribe buttons. That'd be highly appreciated. So let's just get to it. Now, so we're in game. Let's quickly look at the options. Um, we have graphical presets, you know, low, medium, high. The usual, you can also manually, you know, interact here and, and do your own thing and then your own settings if you want to go and do that. Um, I've turned my camera sensitivity down due to my trackball being fairly sensitive. You have a choice of language options, quite a few actually. Um, quite happy to see that. We have an autosave feature and you can remap controls, right, between mouse and keyboard. You can also attach a controller of sorts and, you know, use that. I'm electing for this play to just use my mouse and keyboard. I mean, why not, right? So. We're gonna jump in. Good. And we're going to jump into the pickup truck. And we're gonna turn it on. And oh, first thing I noticed, uh, no working mirrors. It's unusual for a game like this. Like um, farming sim does it. Gold rush does it. Uh, that's that's some of the games I play and you know like there's always working mirrors but okay and let's break engine we get out and we're gonna grab ourselves a toolbox that's a bit weird a bit laggy I want to say but it's fine and we're gonna grab a wheel we're gonna do the same and you know, plonk it in. Yes, this looks perfectly safe. Good. <coughs> um, let's go to the fuel station and you know, refuel the car apparently. I'll do. Okay. Well, may maybe I should turn off the truck, right? And then that'll probably be useful for refueling. Uh, gimme and click and you know as much as I can accept thank you <laughs> let's go tree And we are going. And of course, my encoder is overloaded right now. Why? Okay, so I have been troubleshooting now for quite some time trying to get decent frames here on this bit. And it seems my OBS just doesn't like external camera maybe in this stretch of the road of the game. It, it's weird behavior. Um, but we're fine now. Ooh, we, 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 we can see the game and we can see the capture. Good. Let's continue. We are now... I think I went too far. No. Where's the garage? We are... This is it. Now let's leave a bit of space for that big truck. Okay. Sweet. 
break uh, engine and interact. And pick up. Click. And in there. Good. Then mount the wheel into the uh, into the underground truck. We can do that. So we insert the tire and then we click a lot of bolts. Very tedious, I will say. There we go. And I believe we, yeah, we go into the truck. This is how you move it. <laughs> and key. I like to see where I'm going. And let's go. And there is that frame rate drop again that I'm talking about. Okay. Now the game is running absolutely fine for me. But you can see that the capture is very choppy. Um, let me try and... Let's just resume and try and get into the mine. So yeah, I have no idea what's happening with With that, I'm actually calling it. Um, the, the capture experience for Coal Mining Simulator has been nothing short of horrendous. I, I want to be honest, right? Um, and I, I don't believe it's my hardware. Uh, I am streaming much more hungry games on a regular basis with no issues at all okay so i don't know something in the game engine just doesn't play nice with obs or you know whatever it may be another interesting little factoid when you leave from the main game into the main menu as i did just there for example there is no background animation so that they're not even restarting that um i, I think overall it feels like a very hastily put together product. I, I, I like the idea that they were going with um, all that, but just in, in the technical impl implementation, I've had nothing but bother with this. Um, and we need to consider here that this is a game that is fully released. We're not in early access. We're not in a pre-release. We are fully released. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, let, let's actually get to my review that I've sort of wrote off for this because this wasn't actually my first recording, okay? This has been all in probably my fourth attempt to record just the tutorial section, okay? Uh, I've had in, in the first three attempts essentially nothing but crashes during very particular sections of the game for example as i indicated when you are supposed to grab your first hundred rock out of the rock face um, and the game would just crash for me on every single instance okay um, there was an instance right after that where you're supposed to then leave and go with the excavator and you know sell your first load the game crashed upon entering the game world you know the the outside uh, essentially of the map and yeah, so first off, huge thanks obviously to Icebreaker PR for providing me the copy of this uh, this game for review purposes, okay? And except for the Steam key, I haven't received any remuneration, remuneration for this or, you know, other rewards, anything like that. So I've played now for, I would say, probably about two hours, okay? And, and fought for another half hour with just technical issues in the background. Um, just related to this recording and as I say I've encountered multiple crashes throughout the tutorial alone right and I can certainly say with, with that alone this is not a product that's fit for public consumption okay and what I mean with that is this is not a finished product it doesn't feel like a finished product 
okay? And in fact, I learned that you can't play through the tutorial without having to face these crashes, you know, makes this a straight up non-starter for me. Okay, and then some more nitpicky, nitpicky things uh, that I sort of noticed along the way, like you, you give me headlights, or you show me clearly in the in the sort of um, main menu, and, and you make this, this big show of of a little fog going about, and really a lot of you know environmental illumination, and, and none of that is happening with the with, with the trucks. I feel is representative of the real world, so it's not simulator. It's, simulated at, um, all that well as well uh, or, yeah all that well um and you know i would say that working lights are sort of essential we are working in a mine after all okay and so you can give me as i said before you can give me backwards facing cameras in one of the trucks but you can't make mirrors work in a pickup truck i i, I don't know it seems something that we've solved a long time ago technically and should be easy enough to implement okay um and yeah not to put really to find a point on this but the game is fully released we've had multiple multiple patches along the way right and we should surely now be at a point where the game is in a fit and stable condition right right i mean don't, don't don't get me wrong here. I really want to want to like coal, uh, coal mine simulator, coal mining simulator. I, I really like the idea of it, and I'm a simulator fiend. I mean, I have so many simulators in, uh, in my Steam library, so I'm real, okay. But we know, as I say, five months down the line, we've had the last patch about three months ago, right in June, and I've I've seen no updates in, in any posts or anything from the developers. Okay, and it's, it's very, it seems like a very frustrated, frustrating experience because you feel like, well, I've, I've paid money for it. Well, not me in this case, you know, a, a key was provided to me, but, you know, customers would have paid money for this and they get what feels like an unfinished product, right? And so, <clears throat> in the final conclusion, as much as it pains me to say this, I just don't feel the game is playable in its current state. Right, and I'd be more than happy to look at it again if we're actually talking about a polished product, right? Something that feels like somebody has actually spent a considerable amount of work on putting together and making look and feel right because this isn't it. Okay, and then you, you probably want to be spending your money somewhere else, unfortunately, it's as much as it, again, pains me to say this, right? And it should be noted, by the way, that when I played the prologue of this game, this is sort of the, like the, the demo, I've, I've never had any issues with it, right? I even, and I even tried a test capture uh, um, a couple of months back, and this was on a different hardware platform still. I was actually still working on the 1050 Ti, as a matter of fact, which is sort of the minimum requirement for the game. And I was actually actually, uh, actually able to capture that. I, I wish I would have kept that material now, but, you know, um, hindsight is always 2020. <laughs> Anyways, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like this sort of content, please leave a like and subscribe. It's always well appreciated. Uh, you know, we've got to feed the algorithm gods, and, you know, that's what it is. Anyways, thanks again, see you next time, peace out, and bye!